These are products, and I've given myself 24 hours to create the best commercial possible with zero dollars. Here are the rules. Rule number one, everything must be created from scratch. No paid assets. It's like, it's right there, it's 18 bucks. <laughs> Rule number two, all modeling, animation, and rendering must be done within 24 hours. It's 6 a.m. right now, I'm so tired. Rule number three, in order to win this challenge, I need to pass the test. The what? what? Wait, what did he say? Three of the biggest Blender YouTubers are going to look at four product animations, but one of them is mine. And if I can successfully fool them and they choose the wrong ad, I win the challenge. But if any one of them can find the imposter, the challenge is lost and I have to get this pie in my face. Oh gosh, this is hard. I don't know if you can do that in 24 hours. <laughs> God, I really, I really don't want that. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. Okay, so it's 4 p.m. right now and I need to figure out which products I'm gonna run with. Out of these three options, the prime is just not doable in 24 hours. Simply because of this. I can't be animating liquid. There's so much that could go wrong with that. And out of these two, if I try tricking them with an energy drink, they're gonna know. I mean, look at my previous work. I think it's gotta be Frank. We're, we're going with Frank. Now with that settled, it was time to figure out my game plan. So these are the animations I'm up against. They're quite good. They're amazing. <laughs> but they're also fairly simple. So I'm gonna do some research now to try and find the style for my ad. And I'm thinking something light, bouncy, and fun. And whilst me scouring the web for the perfect reference, is this what we want? <laughs> I wanna tell you about Squarespace. No. No, okay. It's the perfect way for anyone to build a website. Oh wow, okay. That's way too advanced. <laughs> no, I gotta find something way simpler. Squarespace has literally hundreds of award-winning templates to help you design a killer website. Okay, no, this is, this is not the vibe. This is like monochrome. No, yeah, definitely not that. Squarespace makes it super easy to build out creative designs using their Fluid Engine system. You can drag, drop, and auto-scale your assets in seconds to fit your style. Okay, this is taking way too long. I think I just need to focus heavy on the animation because if any part of this is amateur, they're gonna know instantly. What is that thing? <laughs> I also think the lighting is very Blender-esque. All right. I already have my suspicions. <laughs> you can even sell products like this cute sneak shirt with ease as the production, inventory, and shipping are all handled for you. Okay, hey, hang on, I think this is, I think this is it. Wow, yeah, this is, this is perfect. Start your free trial today, and when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com forward slash smeef to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's six o'clock already. Um, I think I'm just gonna run with this and add in some more shots, and just build off of that. Yeah, yeah, I, I I need to get a move on. With just 22 hours left, it was time to create the storyboard. And with my pro drawing skills, everything was looking great. Here are the storyboards. <laughs> so shot one, they're all going to fall down and the cursor's going to like select them as they pop the up. The main can is going to the basically like settle gonna basically here, like up, more a little bit flatter. It's going to fall down until they down here. Down. Don't worry, I was confused too. But with another hour down, it was time to begin shot number one. Honestly, this part of the process is probably going to be the easiest. I'm literally just modeling a cylinder and it's going to take me like 10 minutes tops. And I mean, the material as well, this is super easy. It's just a plasticky material. And I think the main thing is getting the logo right because it's low resolution. They're going to know immediately. And it was at this point I had a gut-wrenching realization. Oh, oh, wait. Pretty sure this is an Australian brand. Frank Green. Frank Green? I want to say the Frank Green thing. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. With my locational crisis out of the way, it was time to create a style frame. So what I'm doing right now is what's called a style frame. Essentially, I'm just designing the look of the final shot so I can lock it in and put all of my effort into animation because 
that's where the majority of my time is going to be spent. And with just a few tweaks to the lights, adding a moody gobo in the back, and setting up the colorful hotbar, it was time to start animation. So this first shot here is actually not that difficult. It's just 10 bottles popping on screen, and the effect is done by keyframing their visibility. Now I've set this up in a way so that the camera and lighting are locked off, but everything else can be animated and moved with this controller. And that's super powerful because not only does it look like the camera's moving from left to right, but it also lets me animate all these bottles independent of that movement. But as time went on, I noticed a massive problem with my workflow. Okay, so these bottle controllers are not working for me. It lets me move all the separate pieces of the bottle at once, which is great. But see that little orange dot? That's the origin point. It basically dictates how and where the object can move. But since it's in the middle and I can't change it on a controller, it's making weird clipping issues with the floor and it's just adding so much unnecessary work. With no quick solution, I brute forced my way through and before I knew it, shot number two was already coming together. So I've come up with this cool little animation. <laughs> That's sick. But now I need to create a morphing effect. I want the cup to shrink and grow to show the different sizes available. And the only way I can think to do that is with shape keys. It's actually really easy. You just make a new shape and then morph between the two of them with some keyframes. But something wasn't quite right. Hmm, so there's a problem with the texture. You see that? It's like squishing when it morphs. I'm pretty sure it's because the topology is also squishing the texture, which is essentially tattooed on the bottle right now. I just need to switch the logo texture like this and fixed. Now with shot number two basically done, I was feeling great. Yeah, this is looking great, but nothing could have prepared me for what happened next. Let's see the rendered view. No, that's not me begging for your subscription. That's me losing three plus hours of work in less than one second. No. <laughs> After that devastating loss, I accepted the L and spammed the save button after every action. But I wasn't giving up. With 11 hours left, I was desperate, and getting a cream pie to the face was not an option. I have to redo the whole animation. I redid everything, made a sick transition. Yeah, that slaps. And it was time for shot number three. It's 4.30 right now, and I'm almost done. This shot is thankfully the easiest though. It's just a simple 360 rotation with some spheres popping up to act like the bubbles. But what makes this cool is the transition. I'm gonna have the cursor select the blue color right in the middle and switch the colors out so it looks complicated, but really it's just two different renders being spliced together. At this stage, I was in the zone. Keyframes were second nature to me, curves were bending to my will, and nothing was going to stop me from winning this challenge. I went to bed. I, I went to bed. Sue me. After my refreshing four hours of sleep, each shot of the animation was complete. All I had left to do was render and freshen up for the test. But as I reflected back on last night, I'd realized something terrible. Oh my god. Oh no, I just realized I need to do sound design for this. Wait, all the other ads have sound in them. Wait, is FL Studio free? It is. Oh, I can try it for free. And after all of five minutes, I quickly realized- Oh my goodness. I was gonna need some help. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. And I knew just the person to call. Yo. <laughs> This is Copycat. He's in my D&D &D group. Nothing much. After explaining the situation, I asked the question that would ultimately decide my fate. Do you reckon you'd be able to help me out with this project? Um...
That means yes, by the way. But with only four hours left, I rushed over to the studio where things were heating up. <laughs> I wanted a lo-fi UI type beat and what he was making was blowing my mind. Holy shit. <laughs> there was one problem though. That matches. We couldn't find the right sound for the cut. It's, yeah, it sounds really hollow. And if I wanted to fool the top Blender YouTubers, I had to think outside the box. What does this sound like? Oh, yeah, that's fucking perfect. Hell yeah. Wow. Dude, these are good. With that problem solved, hours were flying by. And we were losing track of time. Customize your cup. <laughs> but with just one hour left, the project was complete. And we honestly had something incredible. Look at that. It looks high tech. Like, it actually looks legit. Yeah. <laughs> but I needed Copycat's opinion. Do you think with what we've made, are we going to trick the massive YouTubers? Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> with that massive vote of confidence. No, I'm feeling confident. I'm yeah. feeling confident. There was only one thing left to do. It was time to begin the test. Let's recap. <laughs> to win this challenge, I need to pass three levels of difficulty. Level one, Ducky 3D. An extremely talented motion designer with a keen eye for detail. Level two, Kaizen Tutorials. A 3D pro with deep knowledge on all things Blender. Level three, Southern Shoddy. A full-blown character animator who's making an entire film in Blender. Here are the rules. So I've got 24 hours to make this animation and I'm gonna mix it in with three other real product animations. Okay. And if you can spot the imposter, I have to get a cream pie to the face. Okay. <laughs> Just like a stupid. Okay. Fantastic. With everyone on the same page, it was time to start. All right, from the top. And with Ducky as my first level. Frank Green. This was gonna be a challenge. I hope you did that one. That one was amazing. I am torn between the second one and the third one. Really? Okay. I'm thinking about what I've seen you make before. I'm, I'm thinking about your style. Now, now is the difference between the truth and the cream pie. I think it's the third one with the sandals. Do you wanna lock it in? That's locked in. I that's, think that's locked true. in. All right. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Did um, I get it? No. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I did kind of. No, <laughs> I did it. Which one do you think I did? The first. Yeah. <laughs> what? You murdered that, dude. That was incredible. <laughs> With my confidence sky high. That's my favorite one. I'm not saying that to pander. I was on to level two, where Kaizen was already one step ahead of me. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can already tell by looking at the thumbnails. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. First one. I think the first one matches your style. Okay. I also think the lighting is very Blender-esque. I'd say that doing that within a day is not possible. Really? You know? Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's 24 hours, but you have to eat and sleep right at some point. Do I though? After a lot of back and forth, Kaizen was seeing through my lies and it was time to make a decision. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna shut up. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, final verdict. I'm gonna go with four. Yeah, four. You made four. No. Mm! <laughs> My God, why? <laughs> Which one did you do? The first one. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, okay. My initial thought would have been you did that one and I should have went away. With another win under my belt, he was looking for excuses. Yeah, you know, maybe you should pursue uh, doing this and then leave all the YouTube audience to me. <laughs> <laughs> he even tried selling me this keyboard. It's like a hundred bucks. The Arturia Mini Lab. So, uh, yeah, if you buy this one. But now the real challenge begins with level three. And I was feeling the pressure. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm going to watch all four of these. And I have a feeling that you probably threw a decoy in there. The color dots is like what I would pick for your style. But it, that's a... That's a lot of transitions and stuff. With his suspicion set on Frank Green, he analyzed everything. The lighting on the arrow looks like it could maybe be But then be it zoomed easy, in so and like I saw those detail detail It's kind of a lot to do. Like Velcro. I'm gonna rule out the shoe. And one by one. I'm gonna rule out the couch. 
Oh, wow. It was getting scarily close to the truth. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the flip-flop. And what is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> With my fate resting on a coin flip decision. Oh, gosh. This is hard. I was silent. But what happened next? Well, just watch. I want to say the Frank Green thing. But... That animation in the openings. I'm gonna go with the Frank Green. Did you do the Frank Green? <laughs> oh.